What is going on everybody and welcome to the brand new sponge plugin series. In this series we're going to be making a sponge plugin from start to finish. First thing I want to say though is that I will not be going over how to set up the server in this video, but I do have a video that I will link to in the description that does go over this, as well as that I will also link to a video going over how to set up your IntelliJ environment to begin creating a sponge plugin, as well as a pastebin link that contains the contents of the build.gradle file that I will be using throughout this series. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and create our main file here. And I'm just going to call this sponge skills. And after that, let's go ahead and create two new packages here. The first one being main. And the second one will be config. And once those two are created, let's go ahead and just drag our sponge skills into the main package here. Refractor it. And the first thing we want to do whenever we go about creating a sponge plugin here is we want to have a annotation right at the top that's at plugin and this is going to take in a couple of arguments so let's import that the first one being id and just set this equal to whatever you want i'm just going to set it to the name of the plugin here with no spaces after that we want the name of the plugin this one's going to be formatted a little bit nicer by adding just a space in between and the last thing we want here is the version number and since this is the first version i'm just going to go ahead and set this to 1.0 Point zero. And the first bits of code that we want to go ahead and add here is, first of all, a variable that we will put in here by using at inject. And let's import the com.google.inject. And right underneath this, we want to go ahead and create a logger. So private logger logger. And this will just allow us to be able to log stuff to our console in order to display any errors or just any messages in order to possibly debug our code later on. And this inject here, just going to inject a value into this logger variable. So we can technically go ahead and use this logger variable right now, and it'll work perfectly fine. Next up, we need a couple of functions here. And with every single function that's part of Sponge, we need to go ahead and use something called at listener, like so. First one we want is public void pre in it. And this will take in a game pre initialization event here. And we'll just call this event. And another one, and again, since this is something that we want to be listening for, we want to throw that at listener up at the top. Public void in it. And this will be game initialization event. And lastly, here we want another listener. And this will be the public void post in it. And this will be the game post initialization event. And we'll just call it event as well. Now, each one of these is going to be used for something different. So this pre init here will mainly be used for setting up configs and initializing variables. This init will be used for registering commands. And this post init we may or may not use, but we're just going to put it there anyways, just so we have it, just in case. Now, we want to go ahead and create two more here. So we want at listener again. This will be public void on server start. This function right here will be called whenever the server starts up. And this takes in the game started server event. Oops, server event. And all I'm gonna throw in here is I'm just gonna go ahead and log something. So we wanna do logger.info. And we're just gonna have it print out into the console sponge skills. Oops, skills has started. So now we'll know if it works properly, if we see that message. And then one more thing that we want to check for is we want to go ahead and check to see when the server stops. So public void on server stop. And this will take in game stopped server event. And we'll call this one event as well. And in here we're just going to do logger.info. And basically say the same thing except instead of started, it'll be sponge skills has stopped and end that off. Now with all that done, we want to go ahead and test this. So let's go ahead and create ourselves an artifact here. In order to do this, we just want to navigate up to File, Project Structure, Artifacts, press this plus sign, then Jar from Modules with Dependencies. And for this main class, we just want to click the three dots next to it. And in here, we want to go ahead and navigate to Project, and we want to go ahead and find our main class here, which will be, in my case, sponge skills. Just go ahead, double click on this. It'll tell you it's not acceptable, but click out of this. 
then click cancel and it will just go ahead and fill it out for you and make sure you have these the extract of the target jar checked and once you do press ok and you should see this pop up but since we do not want to go about extracting every single one of these jars we just want to go ahead and remove all those we just want the sponge skills compile output to be stored in that jar and we want to go ahead and set this value right here to wherever we want to store this jar and in the case of a sponge plugin we want it to be stored within the mods folder wherever your server files are so go ahead find that mods folder and set it to this output directory once you have that set up just go ahead and click apply press ok to get out of that and now we can go about actually building this so go to the build menu up in the top build artifacts and build if everything works out properly you should get no errors here and with that done we can go ahead launch up the server now and if we don't get any errors what should happen here if I drag this right on over once it's done loading all this stuff we should see a message near the end that's saying that this uh, sponge skills has started or whatever you threw into here and as you can see that's exactly what it did so our plugin has successfully started we have it all set up now we can go on to bigger and better things so thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time